Okay, this is part two of my video in quick and I'm trying to go as fast as I can because I want to get everything into this video. Sonic Adventure DX, I got this for forty dollars. Um, really good game and probably my favorite Sonic game on the GameCube. I like this. A lot of people don't like the big naming levels, which I agree with. But the Sonic Tails, Knuckles, and Gamma levels, I think are really, really good. Um, there's a lot of glitches in here, but all Sonic games have glitches. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, really fun game. Um, both of these are the ports, ports of Dreamcast games. They're almost near perfect ports, by the way. Um, this is um, Player's Choice version, same thing like the Platinum version. Um, this is fun. Uh, I don't. I like the open world feel of this, but it doesn't have it in this. That's the only downside about this. Star Wars Rogue Squadron 2 Rogue Leader. Um, my least favorite Rogue Squadron game. I have the first and the second one. I have played the third. I really enjoyed the third. Um, I really like the first one better than this because the ship's selection is better and the level design is a lot better. But this is still a pretty good game. I go Star Wars complete. I go Star Wars the video game. This is the first one. Um, this is actually a port. The first. I go Star Wars the video game came out on the PS2 and the Xbox Xbox and. Um, people apparently requested it to come on the GameCube, so they released it on the GameCube in October. The first uh, ones on the PS2 and the Xbox were on in May, before episode, well, April, before Episode 3 came out. This is a really good game. I really um, like this over the second one. Um, I do like the second one that the ships, you can have free play with ships. Spider-Man the video game, I got this for $50. And when it came out, really fun game. Um, really, probably the best Spider-Man game. The special features are what sells the game. Um, I just really enjoyed this game. Um, no, I didn't buy that one. I mean, I didn't buy that one release. So I bought that, um, and it was marked down. And Metroid Prime Special Edition. This has Metroid Prime and bonus disc with special features and a demo for Metroid Prime Two Echoes. Um, I got. The sister got this with her GameCube. She didn't play it. I play it, and I'm still playing and trying to beat it. And I really the controls are good, except I wish you could look around without having to push L, well, the right trigger in to look around. Nemco Museum, just a compilation of Nemco games. This Lord of the Rings: The Two Towers, my first game on the um, well, my first game period. Like the first console game. Um, this is a really fun game. Really, probably one of the best, if not the best, movie-based game ever. Um, I actually kind of prefer this over the movie. Um, the graphics are decent for a game, game, and the story is the same as the movie. But it does include half of it. Seems to be the first, then the uh, fellowship, and the second half of the two towers. What are the doing? Return of the King. The first level in this is from the two towers. The rest is Return of the King. Haven't beat it yet. It's really challenging. Um, Lord of the Rings, the Third Age. I bought this on sale. A lot of these, I these are all bought like four or five years ago. A long time ago. Um, Lord of the Rings, Third Age, really good RPS, RPG. Um, um, I really don't like R RPGs much, but this is really good. Really good exception to it. Now to my Wii games. Medal of Honor Heroes 2. Um, I like the campaign. The graphics are good. They're much better than Vanguard's graphics and controls are perfect. Um, the multiplayer, there's a lot of people on, but I really don't like the multiplayer that much. I will play it every now and then, but nothing special. Sparrow the Eternal Knight. I got this when I got my Wii. Um, played it the first week. Um, there's not much to say about it. It's really ch well, it's not really super challenging, but it kind of gets boring and repetitive. The Conduit, um, near, almost definitely probably my favorite game on the Wii. Really, really good on my multiplayer. Enough to rival Halos, um, except people hack and and the glitch, which is real a pain, and it seems like no one does a whole lot to stop them. Um, but this is a special edition from GameStop, which comes with a book or an art book. Um, it's a really fun game. A lot of people don't like the story. 
I actually enjoy the story. I think it's kind of it's semi original. It's not truly original, but it does have a lot of twists in it that I didn't see coming. Losing Angels Squadrons of World War II. I got this as a birthday present from a friend. Um, it's a really good shooter game. Probably, well, really good flight simulator game. Um, it's not as good as Rogue really Squadron, but I haven't played a lot of flight simulator games. This is a good one, and the story is really good. Um, I want to get the second one on the 360, but I haven't been able to find it lately. And it's crossbow training. Um, I got this when I first got my Wii. Um, it came with the zapper. Um, I I played it a little bit and then stopped playing. And then I picked it up again and beat it. Um, it's a good game for getting used to the zapper, but it's not a game game in general. It's worth its price though. Lego Indian, well, Indiana Jones and Staffy Kings, terrible, terrible graphics, terrible gameplay, terrible controls, the most unresponsive controls ever on any game, and the story is really good, and we are up to the Staff of Moses, and it's a really good story, the controls, like I said, are horrible, um, Sonic Unleashed, the daytime stages are perfect, the, this is probably my favorite Sonic game ever. And the Warthog stages really kind of set it off, um, but they're still pretty good. A lot of people hate them, but Sonic isn't meant to be a fighting game, but it's still pretty. And um, my Xbox is beeping, so I was checking that out. Um, still pretty good. Sonic and Secret Rings. I hate the controls on this. I the graphics are beautiful. The storyline is. I hate the story. The controls, um, the only thing I like about it is the graphics and the sounds. That's it. We play, I played this when I got it because I bought it for the free controller. Um, I played this and then I played it a couple more times and I haven't played it much since then. Um, Wii Sports, really good game to come with the Wii. Um, I don't, haven't played golf much. Um, I've had this almost two years, over a year. I haven't played. The golf ball. <clears throat> the boxing is okay too. Star Wars: The Force Unleashed. Um, this is really good um, on the GameCube. The the Wii. Um, good, well, decent graphics and great sounds. It's about the same as the 360 version, except like a watered down version. Sims 2: The Cast Castaways. I bought this and I played it the day I bought it and I haven't played it since. Which is sad because I played the cell phone version, which was really amazing. And I played this and I really liked it. And I got too into it and I stayed up all night playing it. And I stopped, didn't play it the next day. And I really need to get around to playing it again because it's a really fun game. Now I'm going to try to get to my GameCube, Game, game Boy games real quickly. Sonic X movie. Um, Sonic X, the first movie. Not, it's okay, it's not that great. And Frogger, not much to say about it. Pokemon Sapphire, my favorite Pokemon game. Metroid, um, really hard, but still fun. Star Wars Episode 1 Obi Wan's Adventure is really good game. Um, one of the few remaining Game Boy Color games I have. Um, Toy Story 2, my very first game ever. Um, Sonic Advent Advance 3, not my favorite game. It's okay, but it's not that great. Pokemon Leaf Green, um, good, but I don't like it nearly as much as Top Platinum or um, Sapphire. And the Bible game, really bad game. I, it, it, just, it has speech in it, which is cool, but that's about it. Anything else? No other redeeming things about it. Okay, thanks. Um, I barely got through that. Um, please rate, comment, subscribe.